Hi, I'm Paweł Spechalski and while we are waiting for the OpenTX 2.4, the OpenTX 2.3.11 that was released only a few weeks ago brought quite a lot of the important changes for the Immersion RC Ghost users because not only it allows for the ghost to talk to the OpenTX radio but also brings you at least one kind of important bug fix new feature and another new feature so let's today quickly go through the list of the important changes on the OpenTX 2.3.11 for all the users of the Immersion RC Ghost. The thing number one that changed is the bug fix because now finally the center points over here in the output stop on the channels is actually passed to the to the ghost before 2.3.11 you had to use the trims or sub trims to really center all the channels for the ghost and while maybe it was not perfect it was kind of irritating the second important thing is that right now finally you do not have to use the ghost menu to set up everything. Yes, the ghost menu is still there, but you do not have to flip your radio like to the other side. You can go to the system tools and then find the ghost menu entry. Let me zoom in maybe slightly. Here in the ghost menu, you have access to everything uh, that the LCD on the other side offers. You can bind, you can change mode, you can drive your tramp and do basically everything else that previously you were able to do with the joystick. Bear in mind, I think the f next release of the Ghost firmware will even allow you to lock the joystick completely and relay only on the OpenTX menu over here. Which one is better? Which one is more important? Well, it's not me to, to really say. I personally prefer, I think, the menu on the, on the inside because it's just, for me, it's faster to just flip the radio and go through everything. However, I'm pretty sure at least a few people will be happy about the fact that they can right now change the setting on the ghost just like they would be able to change the settings on the crossfire with the extra menu on the OpenTX itself. The last change is that with this version of the OpenTX, the latest firmware on the Ghost and the latest development, still development versions of iNav, because for this you need development iNav 2.7 or the development Betaflight 4.3 or actually production version, live version of the Immuflight 0.3.3, you can have the telemetry of the Ghost. How cool is that? Before you will be super happy. Right now the only thing that is actually reported via the telemetry from the flight controller and only when the ghost protocol is in use let me plug in the battery is the battery voltage let me zoom in okay so now we are able to see it reports the battery voltage if we go to the model and see the list of the sensors uh, there is a current current draw yeah, okay, the capacity, the amount of milliamp hours pulled from the battery and actual voltage of the main battery. I know, it's the first real telemetry frame from the flight controller to the ghost receiver to the transmitter to your OpenTX radio and for sure does not satisfy all the needs and requirements for example long range flyers or even middle range flyers have. However, it's the step forward and according to the Tony Cake, uh, the next telemetry frame which is the GPS coordinates got kind of higher in the queue and maybe with the next next release of the open tx and the immersion rc ghost we will have a real telemetry working so that's all for today thank you very much for watching and until the next one bye bye